Okay. Hello there. Uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is February 12th of 2018. This is a review of this uh, digital infrared thermometer. Uh, it said on Amazon here, it says forehead thermometer for fever. It's actually for forehead uh, and an ear thermometer. Also, it uh, takes the temperature of, of inanimate objects. So you could take a take the temperature of uh, some device, or I think they use as an example uh, a baby bottle. Let's see. Anyway, here is the thermometer. By the way, this shield here comes off on the end. Well, let me take it out. It comes with an instruction book, and it's not difficult. You know, you need to decide whether you're going to be Fahrenheit, using Fahrenheit or centigrade. Uh, and you need to make the selection uh, of whether you're going to do the forehead or the ear. It'll show up on the on the display. Anyway, this part comes off. Uh, so it has the switch up here, has a switch over here, and uh, I believe this other one is for the audio, the beep or whatever, which I can't hear with my hearing problem. So I'm assuming there's a beep since the instructions, I believe, mention it. The two AAA batteries go in here. I'm not a fan of uh, taking the temperature. Well, of course, I mean, I love digital and, inf you know, the infrared. Not a fan of taking the ear putting the probe in, you know, in the ear and uh, taking it. I, I like the forehead better. My, um, comes with a little travel bag or bag to keep it in. And the instructions are uh, pretty detailed. A little bit small for my eyes, but uh, they cover everything in there. Let me switch here. I'm getting a kink in my neck. You know, the instructions are very, uh, very detailed. Uh, my only complaint about it would be, I really like it. The only complaint is the light does not stay on. Now, maybe I didn't I didn't read this entire thing. Uh, showing you here how to do the baby ear thing. Uh, my only complaint is that uh, the light doesn't stay on as long. I would prefer the light to stay on, and maybe that's adjustable. I scanned the document real fast, but... There's for, whoops, okay, it's already, now you can see the uh, Fahrenheit and forehead. Uh, you can't, we'll be able to see it better on the display. But I, I wish the light would stay on. I mean, I definitely don't want the batteries to run down. And so, I would, but it, I wish it would stay on longer. Uh, I'm an old man with bad hearing and bad eyes. So uh, let's look over here. Well, I'm I'm looking a different direction, but uh, I'm actually looking at what you're looking at over here.
Now they've got the uh, cover on it. They're supposed to take the cover off. Okay, here they're showing it for the ear. There you go. This does not come with the baby. You have to have your own baby. Now, of course, this is for adults, too, you know, the, but it'd be great for kids. There you go. And you can store, which I don't really care about. Um, well, that might be f something that you would, being able to, to store uh, uh, 20 of your results. Uh, especially maybe if you have a babysitter or something that's, you know, doing this while you're at work or something. And uh, so there you see the ear. Oops. Where were we? You can also see that you can, uh, how do I get over there? This is for uh, the inanimate objects, you know, taking uh, the temperature of uh, your screen or something. Whoops, except I have it on forehead. So. There we go. Ninety-four point four. Are we still on the four? Yeah, still on the. Let's see. So, three modes: measure body temperature by using the forehead or the ear. Measure other objects, room, food, bath, water, without contact. Suitable for infants, babies, toddlers, child, and adult. Uh, memory recall. Fever alarm and mute mode. I wonder if I have the mute mode. I know, I know my hearing is bad, but... Yeah, let's see. Off. Uh, no, I have it on. I don't know if you can hear it. <laughs> hear it beep or not. I can't with my hearing. That's the range that I used to always get the, the when the new watches came out, you know, digital watches, things like that. With even had even had one with a little thing I could push a little keyboard and do all kinds of stuff, but I could never hear any of those alarms. Maybe if I was in an enclosed elevator, I might be able to hear it, but uh, so you can survive with not being able to hear an alarm. More, let's see. Fast and accurate. Yeah, I, uh, one time I checked all the and that's what they, well, they weren't using this brand or whatever, but I checked all the digital thermometers in the emergency room against each other, just for the heck of it. I was working hospital security, and uh, I just went and checked them all. They were all correct except maybe one was off of one a degree or something they, they were all basically I checked them so and that was probably back in the late 90s they were ear and rectal they had a the probe that uh, came out they had a box and there was white which was for oral and then there was a red the uh, thing went over the, there was a red thing that went over these were all disposable by the way uh, when I did my EMT uh, 
training part where I had to be had to work in the emergency room for 20 hours or whatever it was I saw that they had you know boxes of white probes and red probes which were I mean identical except for the color I was uh, using the red probes <laughs> and then finally the nurse says Jim by the way you know not that it mattered I mean you know they were the same except for the color but the red were uh, what they used. All of a sudden, the emergency room probably had to reorder red uh, covers for their digital thermometers. Probably spiked up, and they people in purchasing or something like, "What's going on in the emergency room? They got somebody that likes to uh, that does uh, rectal temperatures on everybody." That's probably more information than you needed to know, right? The reason I mentioned this probe thing was when I first get first get this, when I first got this, uh, I didn't read the instructions. I figured there's uh, one, two, three, four four buttons on it I could figure it out and then I wasn't getting the right kind of and of course I knew that I needed to read the instructions but so then I saw that the uh, cover had to come off you should read the instructions which I hate doing I love devices that you don't have to uh, don't have to read the instruction. So there you have, you know, inanimate objects, the forehead, the ear. There's your battery indicator. There's the thing that tells you whether the whether you're going to hear the beeping. Well, it can't tell you whether you're going to hear the beep, but whether it's going to whether it does beep, you know, or not. And of course, you want to set this for Fahrenheit or centigrade. And there, these are your buttons. Well, no, it's other objects too. Power button and measure button, uh, LCD to screen, the probe cover, memory button, probe, battery cover, etc. I'm going to sneeze. Probably better. I think I'm allergic to our cat, finally. I think I be have become allergic to the cat. I was allergic to ragweed when I was in Missouri, and I'm in Texas now. And I think I'm allergic to the cat. Anyway, I do recommend this. Pretty neat. I think it's a decent price, and really this is the way to... Uh, This is a way to measure temperatures, especially with the flu season here. Of course, by the time you see this review, hopefully the <clears throat> flu season will be over with, but there will still be colds and more flu and things to come. Thank you very much for, uh, for watching.